hear that. We're close. Mike, this is a pretty bull, I tell you. I mean, all elk are pretty to me, but um, <laughs> he's just got good symmetry on his antlers. He does. You know, that last time looked a little bit, they're a little bit different on each side, but it, for the most part, everything is pretty symmetrical until you get to that point. And he's a pretty big bull. Yeah. I mean, he's not some giant guy, but he's pretty common for what you see here in Rocky Mountain National Park. He would be kind of your your good standard, is what you call this one. He's a good herd bull. Yeah. You know, he's big enough to have his own harem. He can protect his own harem. He can he can gather his own cows. All of these cows actually have collars. Yeah, but you know, they screw up your pictures. <laughs> they do, but you know, it's part of telling the story. Yeah. They are doing tons of studies on these elk in this park. So I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to figure out where do these elk roam? How far do they go? You know, where, what patterns do they have? Do they stay in Aspen right. Forest in the summer? Do they stay above alpine areas? Do they go, come down here in the, in the valleys? Generally not. This is beautiful. It really is. She's trying to make a run for it. Yeah. Got one cow that's kind of broken away from the rest of the harem. He's gonna cut her off. He's gonna bring her back. You know, look how much bigger he is than that cow. You know, it's, a, it's amazing just the size of these animals, period. You, from a photograph, you really cannot get a true sense of how big these animals are. And they can actually lose up to 150 pounds during the rut because they're just working so hard to try to keep their herds together, keep other bulls fended off. They spend a good part of the winter trying to recuperate that, and it depends on the severity of the winter is how many of these guys actually survive. I was hoping I wasn't going to come all the way to Colorado and just shoot elk in the rain. I wanted some elk and sunshine, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> We've been pretty fortunate today. We've had overcast skies and uh, some rain, and now a few minutes ago it broke out in the full sun, so this is nice. We're getting the best of both worlds. And then look behind us. We're about to lose our sun because we got some big storms rolling in. <laughs> 